Hey, there we go. Hey, Viv. Good to see ya. Yep. We are, uh, gonna be playing some Mario Golf for the Nintendo 64 later on the, uh, Nintendo Switch Expansion Pass because I have decided the name that I'm giving to my Monday streams is Miscellaneous Monday. So it's a wild card. It can be whatever, you know. So last time it was zombies. Uh, what was it? Zombies ain't my neighbors. Today it's gonna be some Mario Golf, but in every case, I'm gonna keep warming up with Mario Kart just so that I can get through this Grand Prix eventually. Um, how was my day? It was okay, you know, it's Monday. Uh, mowed the lawn while I was still early enough, got a decent amount of work done with voiceover and such. Um, got some, yeah, I got some insurance stuff dealt with. Always a pain, but you know, gotta do it. Um, right, I got this one last time. So, yeah, let's let's do more of the bell cup, I think. But yeah, it's been an all right day, you know? Thankfully, I got, um, yeah, I finally, the, the big thing that was frustrating me was getting the storyboarding done for that video project, which that's done. And, uh, Oh, what was the other thing? Uh, yeah, I had to change up all my passwords, just, you know. You should do that every few months as a, a security thing, but I've had it on my to-do list for, like, a year. So I finally got around to doing it. And, yeah, it was a huge pain. It took all day, but it will hopefully be worth it in terms of just security. I need to get started doing the, uh, the artwork for that video project because there's going to be quite a bit to do. I got to get backgrounds done and I got to get some uh, character drawings as well, but that will be that'll be its own tall task. I got to do that and then I got to do uh I got to do some printing tests to see how it's going to work for the uh the uh kind of stick puppet situation that I'm planning on doing. Wait, why to what? Which, which part? I said a lot of things. Um. Yeah. This gives me green shells. Password change? You should just do that every few months. Like, just for safe. No matter how good your password is, um. If there's any kind of attack being made towards it, over time, uh, the longer you have the same password, the more likely it is that it will be compromised. So every few months, at least for the really important stuff like your bank or whatever, you should definitely change your password. Every few months, you know. Um, and yeah, because it had been so long for most of them, I changed like all of my passwords for any of the sites that I even rarely use, but yeah, next time I'll probably just do the really important ones, you know, email, YouTube, Discord. I also set up two-factor authentication, which I've been meaning to do forever. I already had it set up for some stuff, but uh, yeah, now I actually have it for pretty much everything, which is an extra layer of security. Um, it'll be a pain when I get a new phone, but it was going to be anyways. Ugh. Yeah, still gotta get a new phone. Gotta get a new phone, gotta set up for a trip in July, gotta, you know, got, got a lot of stuff to do. I get my wisdom teeth out next month. It's gonna be busy, busy time. But it always is. Yeah, at least every few months. I mean, I mean to, like I said, it's been on my to-do list for like a year, so I wasn't quite as studious with it, but um, yeah, I'm gonna be better about it now. I should also update my demos. I, I think my commercial demo will be okay because, it, damn, I keep doing that too early. Um, my commercial demo is probably fine because I got it done professionally a couple years ago, but my character demo, could probably use an update. I should just do more character work, you know? Audition for more stuff. Um, make my own stuff. That'll be fun. 
Hello. Uh, you have a similar name. You got long viv and short viv. What's up with this? Ah! Oh, well, later. Is there, a, is there a doppelganger situation going on with that? I don't know. Thanks for following, I think? <laughs> or is that just like a, a secondary account? I don't know. Man, Ribbon Road tends to give me some trouble. It's the subway one. It's always the subway one that gives me the most trouble, but if I'm not paying enough attention to Ribbon Road, I have a real rough time with. Real rough Ribbon Road. Just an all... Okay, cool. Yeah, that was a little confusing. Oh, you see that? I jumped over the banana. Nice. I can't get to my stream marker. Somebody clip that. I think it's a, uh, there's a control X or there's like a little clapper thing on the stream. If you do that, you can clip out that little bit. But yeah, I did the, the little hop right over the banana on the track. That was sick. Yeah, thanks for the, the extra follow. I've been getting a decent amount of followers lately. I think part of it is that, yeah, like I was saying in my charity stream, uh, s streaming for longer definitely helps as far as I can tell and um, streaming more often I'm trying to do it at least three times a week now which I have a specific game I'll be working on for now it's Pokemon Legends Arceus although that's just gonna be an any percent kind of thing so I'll probably do that for a little while uh, maybe by the time I'm done with that uh, Pokemon Violet and Scarlet will be out, so who knows how that will go. I will get on those first thing. I'm not going to commit to a full dex this time because that was a mistake with Pokemon Shield. I could still go back and do it, but it's like, uh, uh, as it is, this is a bit tedious. Hey, thanks. I sure hope that's what it is. I think for a while it was people saw my hair and clicked. But now I don't, I don't got that. I gave it away to someone who needs it more. I meant to quit. I wish stirring, restarting the Grand Prix was easier. Mmm, yes, yes, I see, I see. Because you gotta back out to the main screen every time. Get back up, back up, bro. I don't want that. There we go. Alright, we'll give... The bell cup. Another shot. It's just so... It's. I mean, it's the last one, so it is hard for a reason. Ugh, I've been drinking too much sugar lately. I pretty much cut out soda. Like, I'll have it sometimes, but there was a point in my life in, like, high school where I'd have multiple cans of soda a day. And I had, like... Probably better metabolism at the time. And I get way more exercise now than I used to. So it's probably not that big a deal. But uh, it's getting close to summertime, so I'm craving lemonade. So I've been doing, doing a lot of lemonade lately. It's not good for the voice. And now that we have the AC on all the time, I'm super dried out. So that plus the sugar is not great for my voice. But... Not a lot you can do. It's very hot here. And yep. I am not doing a show your feet stream. Not for free. No free feet picks. Golden rule of the internet. No free feet picks. There we go. Boy is being a little stinker this time. Around. All these 3DS tracks, all the the, the um, ones that were on handhelds are like super short. 
Yeah, high school metabolism. I was chubby in high school, but like, um, but yeah, it stayed pretty well maintained. And it was mainly just because I didn't have very good food to eat in general. Uh, yeah, it was just a lot of like ramen and other instant foods because that's what was in the house. Uh, then as an adult, I, you know, I know how to cook, so I eat a bit healthier. I've been on a much healthier eating kick lately, so I'm hoping to keep up with that. I, have a, I never had a six pack. Lucky you. Yeah, I've I've always been either pretty skinny or like kind of chubby. I never like super fat or like skeletal thin, but I never really have like the muscle definition that some people were able to get. Uh, I work out like a lot doing weight training now too, and I still just have like kind of a gut. I don't know how much of it is fat and how much of it is just like a little bit of loose skin because, um, again, like, yeah, I've never been crazy slim, so, I don't know. I also do work out all on my own. I feel like if I had a personal trainer, they'd be able to get me to, they'd be able to get me to like something like that, but I don't know if I'd even necessarily want that. I just want to be strong. More than anything, it's not so much for looks as it is, like, just literal strength. So, working on that. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to do it on your own. I can get, um, the gym I go to, my membership comes with a free, like, session with a personal trainer, and they keep texting me every every month or so. They're like, hey, do you want to use that sometime? And I'm like, eh, I'm, I'll save it. I'll probably use it at some point. It's just like, as it is, I have a decent enough idea of uh, how to handle myself, you know, that I can, I can uh, get more or less the results I want. I was doing pretty good for a while, and then, yeah, I fell off for a bit, and then I got sick, so now I'm just having to build back up to where I was at. Yeah, I just want to get, not like super cut or anything, but like, I just want to be strong. I just want to be able, I just want to be able to like, I don't know, like lift something up and someone be like, whoa, you're really strong. That's the reaction I want. In fact, f frankly, the people that I find the most impressive in terms of physique, you know, it's like, yeah, Brad Pitt in Fight Club is always the, like, gold standard for, like, like, uh, attractiveness or whatever, but, like, for me, I like, like, the old-timey bodybuilders with the big gut or, like, back in, you know, back in, uh, in football, like, the, the football players, linemen, who will have, like, like, super jacked arms, but then they'll be still pretty pretty round in the stomach. That's fine. I think that seems cool for me. Or, like, I just watched The Eternals. The character Gilgamesh is like that. He's, like, got just huge arms, but then, like, a belly. And it's like, hey, that's, that's pretty cool. That's what I want to be. Whoop. I mean, it's his face and his body. And he is a pretty decent actor, for sure. I don't know. I mean, obviously, he's older now, so it's not as much about the physique as it was in the, uh, the Fight Club days. But, like, there's that moment in Fight Club where, like, the dude comes in and he's like, hey, what are you guys doing at the bottom of the bar, right? And he's all, like, bloody, and he, like, puts his arms up on a beam. And he just looks super, like, cut and slim. It's like, whoa, that, that's, he looks like a friggin' Grecian statue in that scene. Like, I feel for a lot of men, that is the, their ideal. Either that or him in Troy. 
um, when he played Achilles. But it's like, I'm pretty sure that was around the same time, so he would have had a similar physique. See, yeah, these walkways up top make this a little easier. And the little side bits, it's just like any time those subway cars get in the way, it really messes with my steez. There we go. Ah, dip. All right, we're just gonna, we're gonna do that. I was playing a little Mario Kart 64 earlier, and it was interesting. The um, the computer characters in the 150cc in that, they'll get like way ahead of you, like super unfair, crazy leads, and it's it's just interesting how they've balanced it out in the modern ones. This one is just like, so, how am I so far behind? How am I dropping to like 10th? Ah, this is, yeah, this is a really annoying track. Oh, come on, dude, dude. Just everybody lasting into each other left and right and left and right. Everything's so, like, tight. You have no room to maneuver. Ah, and everybody's slamming into you all over the place. It's like bumper cars. Come on, come on. I'm definitely not gonna win this one, man. Oh, wait. No, no, there's no way. Ah, I hate that subway track. Speaking of Brad Pitt, by the way, you see that trailer for the movie uh, Bullet Train? That movie looks so good. It just looks like a ton of like fight scenes with awesome creative choreography, super interesting set pieces. All of the actors in it are like people that I, I enjoy. In Although Joey King is in it. Joey King from like Wish Upon and a bunch of those other like super like low budget uh, horror movies. Like it's weird to see her in something like that, but I mean, good for her. I never thought she was like a bad actor. It was clearly like, it doesn't really matter how good of an actor she was in a lot of those roles she was in, you know? It was a uh, not good scripts. If you haven't seen Wish Upon, I highly recommend it. It's hilarious, but not because it wants to be. It's just, it's such a strange, th it's just one of those movies where it's someone writing uh, teenage characters when they clearly haven't talked to a teenager since they were one. Like, it's just so out of touch in a way that even I as a 30 year old can tell, like, pretty much instantly. Stop, stop. Yeah, it's like I'm so close to being done with 150cc, but this this specific cup is giving me so much more trouble than I think pretty much any of the other ones have. There's like one I think that gave me like a lot of trouble, but I can't remember which it was. But I don't think it was even nearly this bad. Ah, snap it. Always giving me the coins. So annoying. Coins are like useless. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just let me go. Just let me go. Please. Please. Oh, 
fine as fine. I'm close enough to the end that I'll probably be able to manage. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me just limp across. Yeah. Oh, that was a little close for comfort. Woo, that was a little scary. All right. Next race. Yeah, Ribbon Road. It's a bit tricky. Think it, yep, too early. It's hard to come up with commentary for this because I've just gone over these specific tracks so many times now, you know? You know what I'd want to do is like, um, rhythm games, but all the rhythm games have like licensed music. Now Twitch is all, all super gung-ho about licensed music, which is frustrating because you know what? Back in the day it was like, if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to like license music for radio, you didn't license it song by song by song or whatever. You like just would get a specific license for broadcasting from the major record labels. And that was it, you are cleared for all of them. In fact, most of the time they would pay you because you're giving them airplay, which is very valuable. But no, now they're like, no, you can't do it without our permission. It's like, don't be a butthead about it. Whoa, I don't know what was happening there. Hold on, I got a marker that. I like slipped and slid in such a weird way there. Okay. Ooh, baby Bowser's a little close. He's a little close. Banana. Let's get rid of this coin. Ah, no! Get out of here! No, no, no! Oh, jeez. He's right, right behind me. Okay, that's fine. I don't need the item as much. Ah. I feel like I really shouldn't drift unless I can get at least gold sparks, but like, some of these corners, it feels like the only way to really get around. Come on, come on. Let's go. No, no, ooh. Barely skirted by the banana. All right. All right, the first two aren't the big problem, though. It's always... Always the subway one. Let me just rearrange my table for a second. It is really nice having the table right here. It used to be over there where my shelves are for my board games now. Um, but I, I rearrange things in a way that I find works a lot better and looks a little better for the camera too. Makes it look less empty in here. Nope, I was way too early. It's fine, it's fine. It's... Lap one. So we have plenty of time to catch up. I'm playing it very careful here. I'm going to be real focused. Make sure I can at least maintain not a super high lead, but close enough that I'll eventually be able to squeak by. Okay, okay. Third. I'll accept third at this point in the race. Oh, uh, it's okay, it's okay. I'm still just starting lap two. Go up here. Don't hit drift until there. 
gotta hit the drift there as fast as we can. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, we're going off. We're going off. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. Yeah, this one's chaotic in the tunnel because it's like kind of hard to tell who is actually out in front with so many branching paths. There we go. There we go. Okay. Gold. Thank you. Flip. Don't. Don't drift too early. That's the, that's the death sentence here is drifting too early. Okay. Okay. Fine. And we're gonna boost right along. No, no, no! Oh, are you kidding me? No. <sighs> that close! That was like the closest I've gotten. Oh my god. This cup is going to be the end of me. Let's bring the camera down a little bit. It's giving myself too much headroom. All right. I haven't even got into Big Blue on pretty much any of these runs. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Good start, good start. I know part of it is going to be RNG, right? Of like whether or not the uh, the NPCs hit me with specific items, but it's, it's frustrating, you know? Oh, come on. Dude, dude. That is the most demoralizing thing when you're already down and then they they hit you. Like there. Come on. Gotta be first for the whole race, but we don't want to fall back too far. Maybe Peach is the one? Baby Peach is the troublemaker. Okay. Ah, the banana! Gotta watch out for the bananas. Ooh, you gotta start that drift so early if you don't want to go flying off the side. Still feel like I have not perfectly mastered it. I can get it most times. It's never quite as consistent as I want it to. Oh, come on, dude. I also wish, I don't know, maybe there is a way to do it, but I wish there was a way to, um swap your items so I could get that coin out of the way and maybe set up with something better back there while still maintaining the boom box for uh, a blue shell situation I don't know I don't know I feel like there would be but I don't want to go messing around and screwing it up getting locked in the bank the purple sparks. Boom.
It's always good to drink water along with a non-water drink. Keep yourselves hydrated, kids. Alright, gotta do some fancy footwork here. There we go. Um, something I'd like to do sometime. I'm waiting until I can get a consistent base of people to, uh, to watch, um, and chat. That's the big thing, is, like, I love lurkers. You know, thanks to everybody who lurks. You guys are cool. But my idea, unfortunately, will only work with chat, so, um... It would basically be a, a game called Action Castle. And what it is, it's a game made by Memento Mori Theatrics, right? I'm pretty, it's Memento Mori something, um, but it's a parsley game. And effectively, how what it is is just a text adventure, like an old school text adventure. Did I hit myself with the red shell? Come on. Um, like an old school text adventure like you play on a computer, but as effectively like an RPG. So you have one person who's the the computer effectively, that'd be me, um, reading everything that you need for the, uh, oh, whoa, wait a minute, there's a whole shortcut over there? I have never noticed that. I've played this track so many times. Um... And yeah, it's basically everybody, it's just like, welcome to Action Castle, there's a fishing pole here. Exits are out, right? And then everybody gets one turn to do one command. And once you've done your turn, you move to the next person. And you just play through the game. You gotta draw out a map and everything. It's great. It's it's a fun time. I got three of them. I have um, Action Castle, the original, which is just a straight up, you know, RPG fantasy, fantasy RPG thing. I've got Pumpkin Town, which is like a fun little horror trick or treat thing for Halloween. And I've got a Z Ward, and the expansion Z Ward X, uh, which is like a zombie thing. I've played the first two. I've not ever had a chance to play Z-Ward. I've had it almost a decade, and I've just, you know, oh. It's good for, like, conventions. If I could ever get, get it set up as a convention thing. Um, if you want to know more about it, I'd say check out, uh, I believe it was a PAX thing, but Action Castle, uh, somebody ran Action Castle as a panel at a PAX. Um, this guy, Cold Guy, who's super cool. Cold Guy is the man. And, uh, yeah, check that out, but don't go too deep into it because he just does Action Castle, so spoilers. If you want to do it when I run that. Uh, I'm also going to be setting up that Root RPG, and I'm going to keep it open to when I do it. It might end up being a Sunday thing or something. It's really going to be based on player schedules because I personally have a super open schedule so I will let the players more or less dictate when we get to do it oh jeez alright let's whoop, don't bump the walls too much and then da, da, da. turn <laughs> oh I've been doing pretty solid on this one. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm feeling pretty good. Don't touch the train. Got a really good lead. Don't. Drift there. Drift here. Perfect. Okay. Got some protection. Oop against like a red shell, but I don't have anything for a blue shell if it comes around, so boombox me, please. That's a coin, that's not super helpful, but okay. 
ha. Keep moving, keep moving. It's mainly navigating these. It's always the big trouble. Oh, I got a huge lead. Oh, I'm good. I'm super good. It's right around the corner here. And throw that back for safety. Okay. That's three. Now it comes down to Big Blue. Big Blue, I don't remember being much of a problem, but I do not have a ton of practice on it because I never get to it. Here we go. Dry my hands off. I'm sweating. Ah, here we go. Big Blue. Yeah, Big Blue is fun, but it's a... Uh, it's a wild card. I don't know how this is going to pan out. Wish me luck, everybody. Send me your best RNG feelings. Pretty sure this one is a fully hover mode one. Because it's trying to emulate uh, FX or F0X is what it's from. Is it from X or is it from uh, original F-Zero? I don't remember. I never played a ton of the original F-Zero. I played a little bit of X back in the day, but yeah, not enough to memorize the courses. This is not a super long course. Which leads me to believe it's original F-Zero. Or possibly uh, whatever one I think it was F-Zero Grand Prix on the GBA. I don't remember. F-Zero is a series that should come back. Like, we got Mario Kart, which is fun, but we need, like, F-Zero as more of a, you know, serious racing game. This is, this is silliness. Oh, 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 there it is. And skirt across real quick. All right. Oops. No, oh, that was a bit dangerous, but it worked out. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. No, 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 no. Please, 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 no. I need this. I need this, man. I've been trying so hard for so long. Please. Don't you mess with me. Not now. Ha, ha. Throw that behind. Throw that behind. Knock him out. Knock him out. Yes! Oh my god. Finally! Bell Cup. Get! Oh my god. My heart is racing. Finally! Oh, the Bell Cup is such a nightmare. How much longer do we... We got, like, another 20 minutes for the warm-up, so... Oh, man. Oh, it feels good. Finally. Finally. Got all of the original 150cc. I still gotta do the other DLC track. Or DLC cup. But it's not as big a deal. Right? I got all of these. Yes. So yeah, now we gotta do the Lucky Cat Cup. And then we're moving on to Mirror Mode. Which I think is still 150cc. Could just be 100cc, I don't know. And then after that, 200cc, and that's... That's a nightmare. Alright. I have barely played any of these tracks when the when they first came out i streamed streamed a little bit of them but yeah not super familiar yet this is one of the tour cups or the the tour tracks which makes sense you know they have like a crap load of them so why not insert them watch out boards do not want to hit you, but if you were to it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Okay. 
This is like relaxing now. Oh hey, it makes you go down the other way. Thwomps! Watch out for the thwomps. Oh, well, okay. That's fine, that's fine. I got out a banana for the safety. Don't worry about it. And it's still, yeah, it's still the second, um, second lap, so. It's no matter. It's no matter, no never mind. Oh yeah, it's like all totally different each time. That's cute. Hello, Toad. Don't take the toll, I ain't got no money for you. I got like two coins, that's shit. It's not enough for you. Uh oh, yep, that was a little loose. And. And right around. Alright, not too rough for the first one. These are the first couple cups that they've released, though, so. They'll probably get tougher as it goes on. They're effectively releasing a whole another game's worth of cups, which. Granted, it'd be better to get, like, a new Mario Kart, since this one was already a port from the Wii U, but it's all good. I just like Mario Kart, so I'll play as much as I can. Ooh, it's one of the ones with the moving item blocks. Ah, uh, and tr real traffic. Whoa, okay. Ow. Not cool. Yeah, get got. Get got, Luigi. Fifth? How am I in fifth? Who the heck got in, he in head of me? In front of head of me. And not here. Ah. Uh, I always want to do it off the surfboard. I think you can, but it's just tricky. The, co the coins do move as well. Hmm. Neat. I feel like the loss of the uh, fake question block from the Mario Kart 64 really removed like a layer of uncertainty. You know, it makes you, because every time it makes you hesitate for a second, like, should I grab that block? Is that block okay? And it really, really keeps you on your toes in a way that, you know, I mean, it's a racing game still, so. Whoa, no! Oh, I barely touched it. Yeah, I see you coming, I see you coming. Oh, oh, it blew the car up too. That's great. That's adorable. I still have a huge lead though, so I ain't really worried. Let me get another item block. Some little nice. Don't touch the cars. Don't touch the cars. Yeah, I don't mind the cars as much because they're small. The subway, the subway cars are what's really a problem. Subway trains, I guess. Because they're so huge, and they're just so long. Is the thing you can't you can't get around them. So once you're up against one, you're basically at the mercy of uh, the world. Why did that throw me off, huh? Oh, not that I'm complaining. Nice. I might be able to first try this. It feels like it's definitely one of those early cups that's uh, not too difficult. If I get this one, I'm just gonna swing right into the um, into the main, main course for today. Yeah, I don't actually know how much content I'm gonna be able to get out of Mario Golf. Like, I'll, I'll play a full 18 holes at least, but I don't know if that's actually gonna take, you know, three hours. I don't know, we'll see. I never really played the N64 Mario Golf. 
I played a lot of Wii Sports Golf. I played a lot of Mario Tennis. But, yeah. Mario, Mario Golf, not so much. Oh, I don't trust you with that shell. I don't trust you with that green shell. Wow, yeah. GBA levels are super short. This feels like it shouldn't have been, like it wasn't DLC, right? I think there's another course that has a very similar vibe to it that is one of the main tracks. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's also that a lot of tracks in Deluxe are um, DLC from the original game that were just folded in for the port, so I don't know. Whoa, somebody's throwing fireballs. Someone's throwing hot fire. What's the deal with that? I didn't even realize I was close enough to be fireballed at. Got such a huge lead on him. There we go. Another one in the bank. And the last one is Ninja Fortress, I think. That one's kind of a wild card. Not not totally sure how that one goes. But we'll see. Ninja Hideaway. Okay. Off to a pretty decent start. Yeah, Luigi will get ahead of me at the beginning at least. Because he's uh he's just he's just like that. I think he has a similar build to mine. Where he's pretty fast but doesn't have super high acceleration. But maybe a bit more uh maybe a bit more acceleration, a bit more balance. Mine is super loaded for the uh the top speed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And then we got... Whoop, okay. Ooh. There we go along the side. Ah, oh, missed a chance to do it. Please, one of those. It's all right, I'm getting my lead up. Around. I know you can go upstairs, but I didn't feel like it. I think I'm gonna be fine down here. Uh oh, watch out! Uh, shy guys, who's so shy? There we go for that little extra boost. We're gonna go in the bottom here. And down. Hey. Uh, Timing it on the gusts is a little tricky, but if you get it, that extra speed is nice. And yep. There we go. Whoop. I got a huge lead here. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my first try. I mean, it's not technically my first first try, but um, it's... Uh, First one, certainly when I've been taking it serious. Uh oh. Uh oh, Luigi's getting a little closer. Yeah, he's on a different path. He's up top. It's alright, it's alright. I can survive this. Oof. Oh no. Oh no, Luigi. Mama Luigi. Jeez. Oh no. Yeah, he's maybe gonna win. Not if I can help it. No, it was just a little too late. Man, on the last cup. On the last track of the cup. Oh, that's that's bull roar right there, man. 
I think I'll give it one more shot and then do the break. Man, I was so close to getting it in one. Oh well, let me check. Yeah, it looks like that's 150 just going, just mirrored. And then let me double check. Okay, so yeah, we got this one to do to get all of 150. And then we're gonna, we're gonna learn 200. Well, then we're going to do mirror image, then 200. Or maybe I should do 200, then mirror image. I'll figure it out. I'm not going to do it on this particular stream. So, I'll decide between streams. All right, here we go. Just gotta zip around as best I can. Yo! Ah, my nose itches. Ah, that's better. Oh wow, you think you're so cool, Lemmy. That wasn't Lemmy, was it? Yeah, these first three are like no problem at all. It's just, uh. That last one. And they got out front. Yeah, this is also a lot easier than Mario Kart 64. Ah, oh, hit myself. This is a lot easier than Mario Kart 64's 150 CC. I was playing some of that earlier, and uh, wow, wow, was it hard. Especially, I, I main Toad in that. He's like a lightweight, so it, it's just absurdly difficult to keep up pace with anybody as a lightweight in that. Because you like, if you touch anything, you spin out. Literally, if you turn too fast, you spin out. It's ridiculous. All right, Shroom Ridge. I could foresee this one giving me troubles. If this ends up being a cup that I do a lot. Well, your boost at the beginning is based on your acceleration, I guess. Okay, that, that tracks. I wonder if the red shells seek each other out. Like, if I shoot a red shell at a red shell, will it still home in on that red shell I shot it at? I don't know. There we go. I'm curious, I mean, obviously there's gotta be some tier lists about this, but like, the, the triple red shell I feel like is the most formidable defense and offense. Like, having that ring of shells around you is already such a strong way to protect against almost everything. And then being able to fire off a red shell, like Boombox obviously has its, has its place, but you gotta be very, very vigilant 
And aside from being the only thing that can stop the blue shell, it doesn't have a lot of its own, uh, own situations going on, you know? God, look at this lead I've got. Yeah, that's the thing, is you gotta get, with my strategy, if you get a far enough lead, then nobody can hit you with a red shell. You're basically invulnerable. Like, yeah, they could maybe get you with the blue shell, but you're going fast enough at that point that they can't, uh, like, the, the blue shell hardly even matters, you know? It puts you out for a little bit, but you'll catch up within moments, and everybody else can't catch up to you. That's the goal. It's much more difficult on some tracks, you know? Oof, I'm always roughing up on that one. It's fine. You can blue shell me, I got over the line. Once you're over the line, it don't matter. Street marker that. Why don't ya? Why don't ya? Alright, and then next up is Sky Garden. Sky Garden, super easy and super short. It's the Ninja Hideaway. That one is the trickier one. I think any that has multiple, like, paths is probably the hardest. Um, with my strategy, at least. Because it means that someone can kind of get an edge out over you. Oh yeah. Bursting right over. And we go. Yeah. Oh, that was close. I could see the crumbles. Ooh, we're bobbing and weaving right around each other. Got a red shell for ya. Get him while he's in the air. Ah, it's always best if you can to get him while they're in the air because then it'll throw him off and Lakitu will have to grab him, which is a huge setback. Um, not always a huge setback, but often. Oh boy, yeah, I dropped quite a bit in this track. You know what, I think I'll be okay. And regardless, I'll finish out Ninja Hideaway in any case. Considering, like, it's the final bit. Come on. Nope, oh, I went flying off. Oh, that's it for me. Is it? They're pretty close. Maybe skirt ahead just the tiniest bit. If I'm lucky enough. No, no, I'm gonna come in a tight fourth. Ah, oh well. That's fine. Let's play Ninja Hideaway real quick, and then I'm gonna take a break and switch over to Mario Golf, our main event for the evening. I didn't get any boost. That's fine. This is just for practice, you know? Uh, I'm gonna try... Let's try the upper path here. See if it's faster. Okay. Right, yeah, I can get it. Ooh, okay. That bit of the upper path is kind of a... Kind of a crapshoot, I guess. Sure. And we go. And we go. All right. Uh. Uh. 
have wow I'm not doing great on this but it's just practice so it's okay to learn what was that whoop can I no can't really get a uh, boost off of that watch out for the shy guys they're not looking so shy what? This is mostly just learning the course right now. What? Oh, I didn't get a boost. So much oh, 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 there's a little area up here, eh? A lot of different spots for you. Ah, I see. This is how you get to the right side of this. Oh, wow. I actually worked my way back up to first again. Not for long. Oh, wait. Maybe. Then we zip zap through those. Ah, uh, oh, timed it wrong. Timed it very wrong. That's fine. I keep forgetting that one's such a tiny bump that it's hard to even notice. Whoops. Well, I went off the dang side. That's, that's all I want. Okay, zip zap see. Go, go, go. And fly into the finish. All right, that's enough warm up. So I'm gonna take a quick break, and then we will be back with Mario Golf and Justin Man. So don't go anywhere, don't touch that inner dial. Be our back with Mario Golf in just a minute. So wonderful. Hey, nice
There's the microphone. Let's get into some Mario Golf. So this one is probably going to be more relaxed. So I've got the mic really close to my face so that we can go real golf commentator on it. Let's get into it. One, two, well, we're going to have one player, just me. I haven't unlocked any of the characters yet. Uh... Let's play Plum, why not? Here we go. And let's see. Let's get characters. That sounds like a great place to start. Here we go. Luigi. All right, we'll start with the Toad Highlands. You have to unlock, that's the thing is nowadays you can like get whatever, whatever character right off the bat, but back in the day you'd have to unlock like everybody. Far four, 363 yards. Let's see. Let's just head straight over there. Touch overs. It's a very calm, relaxing day. Not a lot of wind, so. Let's get fairly straight down the fairway. And I see we can gently move things. I think, uh,. Go with the. Let's go with the one. It seems that that's the best drive in this case. And let's see. We could angle our ball a little bit. It appears. We want to uh, adjust that. And uh, hmm. let's see anything else. When we're looking at the camera. Looks like we can adjust the camera. Power mode. What does it let's let's go with power mode. We really want to drive this sun as far as we can. Oh, I'm gonna slice just a little bit. It looks like we're gonna get a pretty nice drive. Not quite on the green yet. But we shouldn't have any problem. Luigi, that's very nice, very tight. Bit of curve to it, but looks like my drive's a little further, so we're, we're, we're set. We're doing fine. As is golf rules, whoever's further away. Oh, he really nailed that one. Really nailed that. Looks like he's going to get an all. Yes, yes, there he is, right on the green. That's fine. That's fine. Nice on! Nice on. Alright, so let's see. Let's just point straight for the hole here. Four iron? Yeah, I think a four iron would be perfect. Let's... Oh. Slice a little bit, maybe not quite hit as far as I'd like, but I think I'm still gonna get it on here. Just barely over onto the green. Nice on! My short game is really going to come into question here, so let's let's see. That's that's all nice and downhill, so I think we'll be quite all right. Am I bit? That might have been a bit hard. That that was a little hard. Should have should have given it a more gentle tap. That's quite all right. Now we're going a bit more uphill. So let's give it let's give it a nice bit of. Ooh, very close, very close. Looks like I'm gonna bogey on this one. He is hitting that much too hard. Oh, oh, but looks like, yep, yeah, he was correct in uh, going for the short game. Oh, oh. 
Oh, nice looks car. like he was able to hit par, so mm. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be plus one on this. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. Because the first hole, just one. Oh, it looks like the wind is quite strong on this course, so... Let's be, let's be careful here. Oh, goodness gracious. The wind is really whipping the ball every direction, so we're gonna have to count for that for certain. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna make sure to give it plenty to the right here. No, wait, plenty to the left. Yeah. What, wait, what direction is it? Just go for it. Ooh, gonna slice a little. That was... Ooh, yeah, that was actually quite a good drive. Almost, almost in the trap. But we're safe, we're safe. Alright, with that in mind... Let's... Let's make sure to give it a good... About half. Uh, I think. Oh, 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 bit of, bit of backspin. That's all. That's all. Yeah, he's, he's up one, so that's not great for me. But this will work out just fine. Whipping straight in my face. So we're gonna actually want to give it a little extra power than you'd expect. No, no, oh, oh, oh. Actually, that's a pretty good on with the wind. Alright, don't. He's not seeing this. No, he did not see that. So it looks like I have a shot. Looks like it's about. Oh, oh, looks like oh yes bogey. I have sunk it. Oh. It's just a bogey, but that means bogey. that we will be tied for this Mom, particular me. And so to say, you have to drop a deuce right on the green. Luigi, this is inappropriate. No, 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 no. seems to have great determination. Alright, he got himself in the semi rough. We're gonna actually go for the power power drive. So we wanna scoot it a little bit. Hopefully the wind will take us in ways. Always always a bit of a slice. But that should that should take us well along on the fairway. Good, good, good. All right. It's gonna try and jump the sand trap. I don't think it's very advised. No, 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 that's a pretty good on. Pretty nice good on. on. All right. Now we're going to see if we can do something similar. for error, but I think I'll be quite alright. Bit of a slice, just a bit. That's, that's a on. I guess that's not considered an on quite yet. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. How do I... Okay, that's how you do the C stick. Make 
this in approach shot. 60 yards, the actual one is right there, so I'll hit that right there. Not, not too much, real gentle. Perfect, perfect on. Nice approach. Nice approach. I think he'll probably sink it here. Not great for me. Nice birdie. Yeah. That means he's going to be two up the entire time. Yeah, this has not gone great for me. R5, so this is quite the long, long one. But we'll be just fine. I guess it depends on what you're doing. So in this case, I'm going for a power shot. Not quite as much power as I'd like. A bit more of a slice. But that should get us just past him. Bit, bit, bit of a stronger drive. Just a touch. Just avoiding the sand trap, going to the right of it. Is unfortunate, but it's all right. That's why we have the wedge. It should scoop us right out of there and uh, right onto the green. Frankly, if we do this correctly, and why not? We'll make an approach shot. That is oh, too, yeah. in the too bad. In. That is impressive, frankly. I don't think that I'm actually in a position to win at this point. That plague is dead still, which implies no win. That could just be a graphical glitch. So we're not certain how that will play out. Let's, let's do the one wood. Some serious power behind it. Nice fly. He is trying to cut right across the floor. Nice shot! Did manage a pretty nice shot that's going to come to the rough. Rough right next to the green, which seems like it would be a pretty useful place to be. Alright, let's just go full Monty. Let's, let's hit this one as we can here. Looks like we're in the rough, but we're gonna go for a chicken. Definitely, I'm not sure if it's a 
switch point approach. It's 22 yards, so we want about third. That's not terrible. That's a good on. Did not manage another chip in, so I might be able to get a leg up on him. I'd like to at least get far. So I'm going to come down to this. I think it's long. I'd, I'd say no, for sure. It looks like we want to go about half far. around just a bit, so I'm going to end up with a boat. It really depends on how this Not quite, not quite, so if I can get this boat, it fails. Pretty. So I want to hit just like the tiniest, tiniest tap, tiniest tap. There we go, bogey. Bogey's not great most days, but against this opponent, it's not terrible. Bogey! Mamma mia! Alright, we tied that time. Whole six out of, I presume, 18. I don't believe we're doing a nine hole. Nice shot! Alright, so here's a par three. Looks like he's already. already almost on. So we're gonna try and coax a little more power out of that. We're gonna land her as close as we can to the tree. That's a good drive right there. I think we will. Yes, yes. Did we get an arm? No, just, just outside of the grave. Of course, he's going for an approach shot. Hoping for that chip in. He did get an on. That's about it. Alright, let's see now. Now I want... Can we go with the... Wedge? Well, no, we can make it with the sand wedge. We'll make it an approach shot. I need to get about a sixth. Alright, let's see how well I can do with that. That's not great, not great. But it's all right. It's nice all approach. Right. Nice approach. They appreciate it. So it looks like we might be able to manage par. Nice so par. I have to be able to get par to mm. keep up. All right. So looks like 4.10 feet. So we're just going to very gentle to have. Right nice par. There we are. Car is acceptable. All right, hole seven. It's par four, three hundred eighty-seven yards. It's like a gentle breeze, so we're not going to have to worry too much about the wind. I'm not sure what his plan here is. Looks like he's slicing. All right, so we're going to go with the power shot straight for the hole. Actually, because we're on a hill, let's go up. Give us a forward roll. Oh no. Oh, that's going to slice a great deal. You know what? Actually, it actually worked out. About five yards ahead of him. He's about to hit that tree. No, it looks like it went just through the branches. Nearly in the bunker. Semi rough. And let's uh let's very quickly see where we're headed. Oh, well, we're gonna land on the green if we manage this correctly. Let's um Well it looks like I'm just gonna go for shots. So we're gonna do a little lift. Get us right on the green there. Or in the bunker. 
Oh, mm. snap. Too bad. That's all right. I'll be able to chip it. Looks like he's going for a approach. He's on the green. I'm going to go for an approach as well. For the sand wedge. I'm going to hit it with a decent amount of force here. Looking for chip in. Not quite, but that's a decent approach. Looks like he might be able to manage one more here. No, not quite. So I might be able to get one up on him if I'm able to get this. So let's see. I'm gonna just gently tap. Perfect. Nice par. That's par for us, a bogey for him. It looks like the tides have turned just a touch, and we're on to hole eight. I believe it's a full 18 course, I'm not certain. If it is a full 18 course, then I'll be able to manage quite well. Let's see. Oh, I'm out of power shots. Um, right, we're going to do this method once more. Goodness, my reflexes for this are not fantastic. Giving it a bit more forward roll. Yeah, looks like that's the way to achieve a little more distance. So we're gonna, we're gonna do something similar. That should get us pretty close to the green. I mean, it's all green, really. He's got a bit of forward roll going on. He's quite a bit closer. That's quite all right. We have come to the top. Okay, a slice bit. That's fine. Oh, no. too bad. Directly into the bunker. He's nailed a nice shot. Not fantastic, but that's quite all right. He saved a great deal of his power shots for this particular instance. I'm going to switch to an approach. I'll make sure that I'm lined up as tightly as I can. I'm going to pop it out here a little bit. And just swing for fences. That gives us yes. Quite a nice, push. nice approach. So I should be able to get it in this next shot. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think I should nice be able approach. to manage quite well. All right. Let's make sure. We just give this gentle tap. Nice par. There we go, par. <laughs> To manage. Oh, nice we're tied on that one. Mm. But that's all right. There's plenty of time. There's plenty of holes left. R4, 409 yards. So let's see. What we're able to manage. I think I'll do it this way to give myself a little more leeway. I'm gonna pop it over top of it, especially with this, uh, this hill here. Gives us enough incline that this should be pretty safe. Sliced a bit more than I expected, but that should be fine. Oh, he's even going over there with a bit of. a bit to the side, eh? I see, he's using the incline to his advantage, so that we don't have to worry uh, as much. Oh, I'm still on a solid distance over there. Really 
get whack. Not quite the direction I wanted, but let's see how it goes. Oh, oh, oh. Get close to the rough. Nearly on the green. Get an approach shot. Swing for the fences. I might have overshot that. Ooh, just a touch. Not a great bounce. But unless he can ship it in. No, no, he didn't ship it in. Nice approach! Nice approach. Well, I'll be able to get him with this. A little bit of the side there. I'm gonna give it a little more zhush than we usually do. No, not quite enough. Should have gone for more of a 50%. Oh. A little too much. A little too much. Plus two. Oh. A double bogey is this thing. Oh. Nice part. Such a dumb mm. thing. Just perfect, you know. That is the green, I guess. So he's greatly overshadowed. But I'm still on, so that's something. Missed it entirely. Nice time. Nice touch. That's all you get. Going with half. Yes. Nice car. Perfect car. <laughs> that was a little Monty Mo. To congratulate. Nice car. Hmm. I'll admit a solid part. Oh goodness, we're running out of time. Oh jeez, there's a great, great hill here. Great great bloody so we'll see how that works. Nice job! Ooh, 
Oh, mm. too bad. That's quite a It's a risky maneuver. Nice shot! There was no real guarantee. Seven iron. the game as I expected it to be. In fact, it's quite difficult. Those mountains in the background look like Kirby, which provides me with a great deal of entertainment. I'll tell you that much. And we are going to get a bit That's not in the feats for me. But that's quite all right. Hello, Monster nice on. 20 KJK. I'm playing Mario Golf today, so we are uh, having a very relaxed golf time. I'm actually going to make this approach. So let's pop it up here. Let's make it that way. That's a lovely shot. Didn't check it in, but that's an on. That's an on for sure. That's something. I'm definitely going to lose to Luigi. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much a foregone conclusion at this point. That's quite all right. I'm going to want a little more than half power. 
That should be just perfect. No, no, no. Not quite, not quite. What's up with you, Monster 20? Hey, JK. Are you familiar with Mario Golf? Are you also looking for a very soothing, relaxed time? On this. Mario Golf game. That's that's a bug. I believe he will still win this. Yes. Like nice part. It's mm. quite a lot. Looks like he needs one away from winning, so I suppose this will be the last hole unless I can pull pull a victory out right at the end here. It's unlikely, but we'll see how it happens. Directly in the rough, of course, but what a drive. Let's see, yes, let's get the Perfectly straight. That's that's a lovely hole. Nice on! Absolutely wonderful. approach himself. Not quite what he wanted, I can tell. Bit soft, bit soft. And swing, yes, right by. Very unfortunate for him, but good for me. That kind of is quite a good. Let's just give it a bit side here. And we just need... Looks like we've also This music is a bit threatening. It's still going. Alright, we're going against find this time, so we'll wanna hit it with a little extra bow. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll make it a bit easier coming back. Bogey! Mamma mia! Yeah, it looks like we'll tie on this one. Bogey! Yes, we've tied. Oh! Uh, I don't know what Dormy means, but I presume it means that he will win this. If I don't do something very impressive. Would appear. All right. I could maybe back here, but I'm going to do something with my own. So what we're gonna do is a little bit more and actually get it up. It's very good. I wish I could lock that in because it's a bit noxious having to hold it while you try and also nail the time. There's not a lot you can do about it. Nice shot! That is a lovely shot. I believe it means you'll be overshooting into the rock. Now it appears you've gone off. Nice on! Good for you, Luigi. area. Might no. Oh nice birdie! Still yeah. able oh, to right. sink it. Yeah, looks like he's won. I, I did really horribly in that match. So we're actually gonna be uh trying this again. Here I am for the best place for trophies. 
shot speed golf. This, I believe, is just it's just a standard game. Uh, oh, they have a mini golf. Let's try the mini golf. Let's try Luigi's Garden. Just straightforward mini golf. Always a good time. There's a mini golf place over here. I haven't, I haven't played mini golf in quite some time. I'm gonna go about 75. schedule has today as miscellaneous Monday, so I figured I'd try out Mario Golf. If I ever don't have a specific game in mind, I'll probably swing back to Link's Awakening. I do want to return to that playthrough at some point, but uh, it's it's mostly going to be just some fishing. i got to get that last blooper to get the last secret seashell. It's a bit of a nuisance, but it'll be done at some point if I want to finish that. I don't mind too much though. I do enjoy that game pretty too. And then of course I do got to do the last dungeon. After that, so, the incline here is very strong. Definitely much too loud. I, I can't imagine being back in school. It was truly one of the most stressful times of my life. So being able to sit here and entertain all of you with a relaxing game of mini golf is much, much more fun. Let's try and hit. Very nearly. 
Nice heart. You insist. Let's see. Oh, wait. oh, looks like there is a bit of a shortcut. Oh, is there? Is there, is there? there is a shortcut. Looks like. Save me a lot of time just doing this from the beginning. That's fine. In fact, if I just gone around, I would have saved myself some time. That's okay. Health is about that. Sometimes you need to make mistakes, not the same mistakes. Rule six, which is shaped like a six. You start. So we start with this part of the six. So we're just gonna swing for the fences. That is not the best idea. That's fine. We learn these things as you play more about. We're just gonna dance in there. Like so. See the flag at least. Ah, Nintendo Switch Sports. Yes. Uh, I believe that that does not have golf yet, which is what I'm most excited for. But it does have the bowling. I believe the tennis. Um, and a few others. I hope that they add some of the the Wii Sports Resort stuff. And there will be golf eventually. They have directly said that they're going to add golf to it. It's just going to be a free DLC in a few months. Bogey! Yeah, my favorite was always archery in Wii Sports Resort, but you can't have everything. Not yet. I'm glad that they're just porting it. That's more than I honestly expected them to do. Oh goodness, this is going to be a very precise shot. So let's be very careful not to overshoot it.
this is a bit difficult, but we should have. Looks like there was less or more than zero problems. That's quite all right. Thank you for the um, I've also set up some things like the hydrate command, which is exclamation point hydrate, or exclamation point discord if you'd like to join my discord server. Um, that will generate an invite link in the chat for you. So, if you're interested in either of those things, feel free to use the chat commands. Oh, goodness, this is quite difficult. Um, let's try and move our way around this way. There we go. There we go. Yeah, the water hazard is my, is my uh, greatest... Genuinely just numbers and letters. It feels like preschool. is hard, just like life, but in the same way, sometimes it's still fun. It's worth it. Alright, we're just going to make it short. Just plan ourselves up for the jump.
It is a very tropical feel. I really enjoy the, the music in this. It's very relaxing. There we go. Although I don't feel like I would find tropical islands very pleasant myself. I don't like the heat very much. I'd much prefer some sort of alpine resort. Have some hot chocolate. That is my life speed. Though I do look good in a tropical shirt. I think it's comforting, but it just... But no. That's strange. I don't know why it allowed you Bogey. to do a hyperlink at all. Oh. It's supposed to be shut off for um, anyone other than moderators. I have to look into that. Alright, let's string for the fences. Just pop it up in there. There it is. It looks good. It looks good. Did the little uh, swirly for that. I, I like. The, I always find if you're able to make it do that, or like in basketball to make it swirl around, that is much more impressive to me than a dunk because a dunk just means that you have long arms and you can jump high. That's not very impressive to me. But someone who's able to control it so that it swirls around before it goes into the hoop, that's cool. I wish I could do that. I'd do that every time. But I can't. Alright. Let's go to the left touch. Just a little over. Oh, 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 oh. I was hoping to avoid that.
fall back down at least. Bogey. There we go. I'm able to get bogeys pretty reliably, so that's better than a double bogey. This one is very simple. You just swing flat. Now, as best we can. First time, not not terrible. Yeah, too many video games are high energy and stressful, but just a relaxing game. Sometimes. Speaking of relaxing, I'm going to take a quick break. Use the restroom and stretch my legs. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch that internet dial. I'll be our back with more Mario Golf in just a minute. Okay? Okay.
Hello everyone, I am back, so we are going to continue playing Mario Golf. Gotten some more water, did some jumping jacks, I'm feeling very good. We're going to continue go. playing some Flum, and we're going to try again to unlock Luigi. Here I am! But we'll try it, or we'll have to try it on the Toad Highlands it looks like, which is fine. I enjoyed the Toad Highlands. In fact, we're going to... Turn the music down just a bit. It's a bit more exciting on the uh, these courses, so I don't want to... Okay, we only get six power shots, so I'll save it. I'm going to pop it over a little bit. And we'll see how well we can do now that I've had some practice. Thank you, Monster20KJK. I appreciate... I appreciate your belief. Luigi is quite the opponent, but I think... I think I can take him this time. I'll need to if I want to unlock him. Not that I'm particularly a fan of Luigi or anything, but... I do want to unlock other characters, and he's blocking the way. Popped it up a lot more than I meant to. That means I'll be in the semi rough. No, the full rough. That's fine. That's fine. I can handle being in the rough. It is just the first hole, so I don't need to worry too greatly. Nice on! Shot. I'm actually uh, move with the incline a little bit. Right there. Pop it up a little bit because we're in the rough. I'm just going to swing for it. That's a decent on right there. It's an okay approach. Please, please. Nice, birdie! Yeah, all right. Well, that's only, that's only his first. This is a par three. This is a drivable par three. Which is quite impressive. We need to nice be, uh, on. I think it's a nice song as well. Oh, looks like he might get a birdie. Okay. Well, my short game is where I excel, so let's let's see if we can. Nice birdie. Yes. There we go. I can drive okay. It's my short game, where I really, really get it. Just got some water on my control. That's all right. A bit more wind. It would be good if I could see the direction the wind is going. It appears to be the right. We're gonna continue using the one world. We're gonna up it around a little bit. And I'm gonna go for it just a touch. Oh, wow. Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping for. 
I don't think. No. Nice Looks like you can. Oh, okay. Yeah, feel free to use your points. However, um, I had sound alerts for here, but I think I turned them off because no one was using them. And it just seemed like a bit of a nuisance, I guess. Right. Is that on? That's on. Nice on! Wonderful. I'm doing much better in this run. Before, Luigi gave me a great deal of trouble, and this time, it looks like I am actually doing quite well. Wow. Too bad! It's in the bunker now, so. Can I might chip it in? No. Merely an approach. Not a bad approach. Alright, let's scoot it over. Thank you. I appreciate the, uh, the words of encouragement. Alright, let's do certain. This will be served by group. Let's uh, make it a little more precise. bit over half, yes. A bit much. But I'll still be able to make a call. If I can make a par, it looks like I can win this. So that's something you have just a touch. Give it a nice, gentle tap right. And nice par! Bit suspenseful. <laughs> But it ended up being just right. Doing quite well this time. I only need to win 10 out of 18 holes to bring it home. Alright. Let go over. I was aiming for, but I should be fine. Yes, that's that's a fine initial drive. Looks like he was able to go quite a bit further. But I am one up from him, so that's quite alright. Looks like we're gonna want to go around. I might go in the bunker. I'm in the rough, which is not exceptional, but certainly a nice shot. That's very true. Yeah, the new game uses um, mechanics from Ninja Golf, which was an NES game, where you would effectively uh, you would fight ninjas. You would, you would take your shot, and then you would fight ninjas all the way to where your ball was at. And then it was stolen for the game Aqua Teen Hunger Force Zombie Ninja oh, pro too bad. Which is a game only remembered for its title. It was, it was okay. It's effectively combining a beat-em-up and a... Uh, nice it's also on. the uh, coming game Cursed to Golf. That looks very, very fun. I'm quite excited for that one. It's more of a side-scrolling golf game. Um, I'm also a big fan of Golf Story, which is a golf RPG. I should play that on stream someday. Well, uh, hopefully, you know, I can finally beat it. It's a very difficult game. Go from 
middle. Try and overshoot it just a touch. Ooh, my angle was off just a little bit. I think I'll be able to sink this. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Not quite. So he might be able to tie. Bogey. Yeah, he might be able to tie me on this. Oh. He'll he'll most likely tie. Nice bar. Yeah, it looks like he did. Mm. That's all right. Now we're tied up, but it's much better than I was doing last time. So that's a good start. He's aiming to cut across. Seems like a solid strategy. I'm going to use that as well. Yes, we're going to also do that. I'm going to use one of my power shots. Perfect aim straight down the middle. Yeah, I, I enjoy golf games a lot. I find them uh, very challenging in a very interesting kind of way. And the, they've, the controls have always stayed pretty consistent, you know? There's not a ton of different ways for you to change the uh, controls of golf, but it still works very well. Pop it up a little bit. Out of the, uh, rock. All right, still in the rock, but it looks like getting a little closer. Right, let's make that a move. Quite okay. Let's see what he's able to do. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. It seems like it's pretty straight on. A little left. over half power. Oh, that's always unfortunate. Sorry, I don't think I'll be able to sink it. No, no he won't. Perfect. There we go. He'll probably be able to tie with me here, though. Bogey! Yes. Mamma mia! Alright, we're tied up. I want to get a bit of a lead on him, but this is not the particular course to do it. This hole is very, very temperamental. Just gonna, yeah, we're gonna go a little, a little left because the wind is a little icy. We're gonna just aim for it as quick as we can. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that's the rough, but I can make an approach shot. approach. Thank you. I'll do my best. Not quite there, Luigi. Oh dear. Oh dear. I might be able to get it in. No, not quite. All right. Oh, shot 
it? No. Nice heart. <laughs> All right, now I need to just widen and maintain my lead. Ooh, a strong wind. Very strong wind. All right. Mostly be helping me actually. So let's let's go for a bit. Oh, power shot. Oh dear. Not the strongest move, but I think it will actually work in our favor here. Yes, lined it right down the fairway. 6 a.m. I wouldn't be up at 6 a.m. to mow. That sounds so unpleasant. I don't mow before 9. And I generally do it on a weekday because I have that luxury. So not quite an on, but close enough. Close enough for me. Oh, wow. too bad. Right in the bunker. That's not a terrible on. All right. Now, why would it give me sandwich when I am on the edge of the green here. Think about there. And I'm almost half. Ooh. Very close. Not quite, but very close. You might be able to get that. Ooh, it's looking... Oh! Skimmed right by. I know, I'm saying, like, I don't understand why you would do something like that. Bogey! Mama Definitely mia. sounds like a ridiculous proposition. Nice R. R. <laughs> that gives me a two metal lead, which is pretty solid. curve to this one. The wind is pretty strong. So we're gonna give it a bit more of that and give it a good pop. Oh gosh. Uh, I cut it a little much. That's alright. It's par 5. I have plenty of room. Stay up over Luigi. Wait. Let's move over a little bit. Okay, let's pop her up. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. In the rough, I think. Just barely in the rough. That's fine. Probably do an approach. Who am I thinking of playing next? Uh, well, I've been playing Pokemon Legends Arceus on Fridays and Saturdays lately, so I'll continue playing that until I get at least to the end of the story. 
Nice on. Then uh, I'll probably spend some time on Miscellaneous Mondays playing Zelda Link's Awakening again. I was working on the 100% of that for a while, but I kind of hit a roadblock. Um, today, though, I'm just going to keep going. Let's actually make this an approach shot. Make this an approach shot. Look at that. Pop it up a little bit. Hit uh, about there, I think. Oh, that's a pretty nice approach. 15. I can sink it from 15. Unless Luigi does it right here. Yeah, eventually. I gotta get up to a high enough, like, star rank. Um, that was my problem, was just that I can't control them. At level 100, they wouldn't listen to pretty much anything I'd say. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, and he can definitely sink that. Oh, nice part! Rat. Hmm. Okay, that's okay. I'm still ahead. Ooh, heavy winds. Heavy winds this time. Heavy winds going right. Okay. Nice shot. Goodness gracious! Yeah, that really whips the ball. With, yeah, the shape of this, I think. I don't need to worry too much. About the, uh, wind. Oh, oh the bunker, really? Oh, nice shot right out of the bunker. Yeah, I'd recommend um, just looking up the soundtrack on YouTube. It's probably on there, and you could just put it on on a Bluetooth speaker or something, and that be a great lullaby. Nice on. Or you could put on the VOD of this this stream and get the same effect. Let 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 me see. Bang. Right over that bunker. Right on the green. I suppose that wasn't a very nice on. This is fairly flat. But it's got a bit of incline. Oh dear. Not that much incline though, apparently. I don't think I'll be able to sink this. No. No, no, no. All right. About half, that should get us right in there. There oh, we yeah. go. Sleep well. Sleep well. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you another time. Join the Discord if you haven't already. There's an invite link going in right now. It's open to everyone. Feel free to come in and chat. It's not incredibly active, but maybe you could change it. I need to spend more time I'm myself uh, making it a little more active, I think. That's fine. If I find the time, I certainly will. Streaming is a side thing for me right now, unfortunately. 
but I'd love to take a new series. It's just uh, finding the time. Nice Justifying the time as a priority now. Ooh, lovely one. Nice on. That's fine because I'll be sinking. Right? I was going to say I'd be sinking. Nice. Yeah. All right. All right. Miss Moose, I will. Nice birdie. Lovely, lovely birdie. We remain tied. Just a minute. Ooh, a bit of a slice, but I think that should be okay. I was hoping to avoid the bunker. But I'm in a good position for an approach. Nice on! He hasn't even gone on yet. 
That's right, so we actually are in still a fairly good position. I don't think he's going to be able to make that, but no, certainly not. Over half an hour. Mm, not quite. Oh, oh, there we go. I can still win this. Easy. Nope. Never mind. Nearly did. All right, let's just tap it in. Oh, you. Oh. Oh, you. Mamma mia. Ah, tied up. I'll accept tie. Really, really outstanding stuff. Which is what I haven't considered. This. That's right. Mm, into the rock. Recti in the deep rock. But you hadn't considered that one. here. Oh, but so is... Nice touch. Nice touch. Bogey! That's a bogey, so no. I'll be winning this one. That's quite alright. Nice part! Hmm. Might be able to catch up. I just might. All right, let's do something a bit similar. Give it a roll. a little further. Play the mind game. If I psych him out by doing better for a bit, maybe it will uh, mess him up. That is on. I suppose it didn't nice mess on. him up. Well, I'll be doing even better than that. So. How do you feel about that? Nice on! I don't think we can make this. No, 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 not quite. Nice touch! I don't believe I hit it hard enough to make it in. Oh. Nice time. Ooh, very close, but not quite. Nice par. Hmm. Nice there par. There we go. That's par. <laughs> All right. This one's quite curvy. 
a strong wind blowing. So we're gonna aim for approximately the same place. slice away from the rough, so. Nope, still rolling. There we go. Yeah, he's popping the one up. Ooh, using the wind to his advantage. Or oh, his disadvantage, I would rough. Seems like that didn't work out quite how he planned. Let me make this one approach. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bit more backspin than I expected. attempted a chip in, but not quite. Bogey! There we go, bogey. Oh. Bogey! The most I can hope for are ties at this point. I just can't let him get this last medal. This is a very difficult game. All right, I see, I see your game. very clear where the branches of the trees are. I figured I'd just zip by. Nice Stop. 
stuff. Popping it right up in there. Ooh, and he's in a lovely position for that. I'm gonna go with an approach. the winner once again. Well, I got more medals this time, so that's not too bad. Alright, I've done worse. I'm gonna take one last break before we finish today's stream, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. We are back with more Mario Golf in just a minute. Okay? Okay. everyone. We're going to finish this off yeah. with one more round of mini golf, I think. We'll try out Peach's Castle. Oh, 
we'll see how that is. Oh, it looks like it just picks up from where Luigi's ended, so that's fine. It's still mini golf, which I enjoy, so there's no problem. down towards the hole. I'll twist that a little bit. Oh dear, we missed it. By just a hair. There we go. Far. <laughs> All right. How should we approach this? Looks like I think that would be a good idea. Yes. No. Wait. Somehow that bounced it directly back to us. I had hoped either. Alright, let's let's just try and get it in. There we are. At least in the correct direction. And we'll just Just, just a touch. There we go. Plus three. Not great. Disappointing that L is not on Luigi's course. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. This is the uh, mini golf mode in a Mario game. I think they'd be a little more creative, you know? Spend a little more time making it uh, fun Mario stuff. But that's alright. I hadn't, looks like it would have gone right in. Nice Another one just barely scraping in. <laughs> Not adding any strokes is uh, honestly enough for me for now. Alright, we'll just. It's 
interesting, out of all the characters that they've introduced in different Mario games, they usually come back to all of them at some point or another, but Plum? I've never seen Plum in anything else. I think she deserves a resurgence. Hashtag bring back Plum. That's what I, that's what I'm gonna say. Alright, let's just whack it straight that way. There we go. Should be able to get a birdie on there easily. Come on, there it is. Birdies. Yes. Kind of annoying that the the good one is orange. Usually that's uh, reserved for bad things. Yeah, that's what they decide to do, I guess. get out of this with a uh, score of zero. There's a stress here. Hmm. It's a bit tricky, but I think I can go it this way. I suppose I could just sock tap it as well. Looks like we're only gonna meet par, but that's okay. There nice we go. Par. <laughs> All right. About halfway through. Got a much better score. Looks like I finally started getting the hang of this by the end. All right, and let's just whack it. Perfect. That felt good. Yes. Alright, hole 10. I think we're gonna run out of letters by the end of this. Just gonna tap it over here. Saying OB, it's out of bounds. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well, looks like I ruined my my decent lead. Oh well. so much they can do with the uh, letters. And we'll just about halfway. It's a bit stronger than I meant. We'll hit par. Nice, nice. Par. <laughs> there we go. 
go. We'll go straight across. there, but it worked out. B, this one will be quite frustrating, I can already tell. Let's uh, use the long. Oh, oh goodness. Oh my goodness. It actually busted it right out. Quit angling me straight at the hole because that's not super helpful. And a hundred, there we go. Oh, oh, can I? No. That's wishful thinking. I'll get par at least. Putting me is the question. Mm, yeah, of course, the thing here. So, what I'm gonna do is kind of gently anger it around using that. Perfect. That lines me up for a lovely little slap right in. Overshot it just a touch. Gotta oh, be careful. Wolf's game of kings, you know. Gotta do nice it hard. safely. <laughs> you can't mess around when you're playing golf. Well, if you're gonna mess around like that, what's, what's even the point of you playing the game? Right to my starting position. It only took me two strokes to do so, so let's go for a more extreme angle. Maybe that'll help us. Yes, that's much better. I believe I'm not lined up with the whole quite yet. No, not we'll just go about 50 50 there. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. 
keep overshooting it. I've got such a lead foot when it comes to golf. I suppose it's not a lead foot so much, it's just a maybe pattern. Or an iron foot. Oh. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Right there. Like one little bit. Oh, and I'm bloody here. Right over. Just got to tap the bloody thing. There it goes. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right there? Did it, did it just, it just drop, drop back out? There we go. It only took me five bloody strokes of a bar. Oh, now I've got a question mark. Because it ran out of... Ran out of... Bloody letters. Alright, let's see... Let's see how this goes. Alright. This is the gimmick one you'd get. Right, when you go to the... The, the um... The uh, mini play course, right? There's always a gimmicky one. It's got some that looks a little too hard for you. Where you're like, oh mate, I'm gonna nail that one. You know, usually it's got like a drawbridge or some sort of moving part. And you think, oh, it's not gonna be that hard. You just gotta time it out right, but then you realize you don't know how to golf to begin with, so. It's actually quite a great deal more difficult than you expect. Oh, I hit it right deal harder. I'll have to nail it right over. Oh, too bad. Oh, crikey. Should have just gone and hit the bloody thing. Alright, plus 18. I think that's a little bit better than the last time, but you guys will have to tell me. Alright, that's going to do it for me tonight. So, thanks very much for tuning in. Hold on. I'm going to go off accent. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm going to raid over to somebody, but please consider following and subscribing. It would help out a great deal. Check out my socials down below. I've got Twitter. I've got YouTube. I've got an archive for all my streams on YouTube. You can go check that out, too. I've got Discord, which you can see the link in the chat, or just go down below at any time and click it, and it will uh, let you sign up and come hang out. I'd appreciate it. I hope to see you there. And I hope to see you guys on Friday for my next Arceus stream. So, you know, check out for that. If you follow, you'll get notifications for that. But in any case, if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. All right, let's see who we have to raid over to. Let's see, let's see. Who's online? It's a bit late, so probably not too many pickings. Oh, we got a... Uh... We got Pinksel and we got Owo Nani Kore. Let's go for Pinksel, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll raid over to Pinksel. Let him know I sent you. Have a great rest of your Monday. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see y'all on Friday. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Good night.